Hello everyone, my name is Z, and welcome to another card pack opening. I just got off a terrible arena loss against a shaman who kept rolling taunt totems and preventing me from securing lethal. It was the worst way to lose uh, a game in the arena in a long time. It was just literally five, I, I would say five turns in a row. He would draw a taunt totem to prevent me from securing lethal. And then he drew a sunwalker, which was a, ta a taunt monster. There was nothing I could do. Anyways, we earned a pack from that, Whispers of the Old Gods, and now I think it's time to open them. I believe in the last video I said that that video was going to be the last card pack opening before the new expansion. Well, I was wrong. I played a lot of arenas. So, let's open some packs now. This will be the last Whispers of the Old Gods uh, card pack opening that we'll be having because very, very soon the new card pack expansion coming out. Uh, what's it called? The City of Gadgetsan or something like that? City of Gadgetsan, or maybe it's just Gadgetsan. New packs, new monsters, new spells. It's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. But before that, let's stop rambling and open some packs. Alright. Well, that's our grand tournament thing out of the way. Uh, good cards. North Sea Kraken, Captured Jormungar. Unfortunately, I believe Grand Tournament gets boot. Does it get booted, uh, with the new expansion that comes out? So for standard play, is what I'm referencing. For standard play, um, Grand Tournament I think is out. So it's gonna be Whispers and Gadgetsan. No Grand Tournament. And standard. Speaking of standard, or classic, let's do classic. What we got here? Nothing particularly great. All right, the weapon smith's all right. And let's see. Wild Pyro is okay. It's good for control decks like Priest and Paladin. Blood Knight, also kind of a funky epic. Oh, is that our first epic? Excellent. I'm not explaining that much because most of these cards we've been through in previous videos. If you'd like to get an explanation of those, check the early, early vids where I uh, go over some of those cards. How about. Anything here? Golden Common? That's fine. Money Berserker, I'll take. We're just gonna rush right through these. And go as fast as we can, because, you know, Gadgetsen's coming out any day now. We gotta, we gotta go fast. Savor these Whispers and, and Grand Tournament cards while they last. Yeah, it's a Legendary! One that I already have. Ah. Well, I think it's the Golden equivalent of that one. Captain Greenskin. If it was a 5-5, it would be super strong, but it's not, so it's, uh, kind of weak. You can try out, um, Weapon Warrior, though I think it's very hard. You need to have a lot of armor gain cards, you need to have a lot of, uh, weapon upgrade synergies and stuff like that. Which, it could be fun. I don't think it's, uh, competitively viable, though. Anything? No? Doom- uh, Doom Guard's alright. Brawl's alright. So Brawl's used in Control. Deadly Shot's used in Secret Hunter, I think, right now. Doom Guard's used in Zulok. No, oh, I should be talking about the Arena value too, shouldn't I? I'm sorry, I'm so angry about that Arena loss that I just lost, like, literally like five minutes ago. Flame Imp, good in Zulok, good in Arena. Scarlet Crusader, good in the Arena. Mm, these are all bad. Alright, that's all the classic cuts. Let's open our final series of Whispers cards and see what we have. Anything? Uh, Evolve, Stormcrack, I think I've been through all of these, they're pretty good. Are they playing Call of Duty Strong? Another Legendary! And guess who it is? It's flipping Anomalous again. Third time in a row. Hey Anomalous, good to see you. You're turning into dust. What else do we got? Anything else? No. Why don't you just give me a ton of duplicate legendary so I can actually make some cool ones? Here's a question, actually. Do I save my dust for the new expansion coming out? Oh, the game lagged out. There's no OK button. Oh, I'm not paying attention, that's why. Mark of you, Shaw. Stop being so sneaky. What was I saying? Oh, dust. I don't think I'm gonna craft any legendaries this time around? I don't think there's anything particularly important that I need to craft. I don't. Most- I have most of the core common legendaries that I wish you've seen me craft. 
And I... What could we craft? Baron Geddon? I think? Any whispers? Maybe your shawl? I'd have to look through all the legendaries and uh, see which ones are still viable. Just a car. Oh no, but he's going out of the meta because he's in Grand Tournament. Ah, oh, man. I could have crafted that for you. He's going out of the meta, but I'm not going to do that now. Oh, maybe I still will, actually. He's still a good legendary to have playing wild, like if you play control decks. Anything here? Ravaging Ghoul, very good. Nerubian Prophet is good in the arena. On the Hunt's a good card. The others are okay. Golden. Goldens? I'll take that dust. Thank you very much. And... more epics. Dark Speakers, all right in the arena because it provides a essentially a health buff. Shadow Strike, really good. Blood of Brave, pretty good. These are uh, eh. Midnight Dragon, Am Gam Rager. Oh, Golden Corrupted Seer. Hey, you're good in the arena, and you're golden. And the others are okay. I've already been over the descriptions of these cards so much. Spreading Madness, Funky but Random, Nerubian Prophet Good, Shatter, eh, Divine Strength, okay. Carrying Grub, not bad. Pretty good action for a 3 drop. Suda Darkshire, fun. Shadow Strike, really good. Shadow Caster is alright. Blade of Cultus is alright. Us is not so great. These are really good, that's why. Nothing. Really awesome Cthulhu stuff. Cthulhu will stick around through the next expansion, so that's fun. Yeah! <laughs> well, I asked for it, didn't I? Duplicate legendaries, I said. Let's Man. let's grab some duplicates, shall we? Man. Who needs? Who needs new legendaries? Let's just get a bunch of old ones. Right? Well, I suppose it's a lot of dust, so I can take it. We'll use the craft something. I just don't know what yet. Nothing particularly great in there. I mean, there was a couple of good cards, but we've already been over them. Looking for, like, epics and uh, legendaries. Cabalist Tomb! Yay, I think that's my second one. Using Spell Mage, constructed. Basically, you just add value from outside your deck, so why not combo that with Yogg Saron and uh, you got yourself a deck. Blade of Cthulhu. Used to be very popular, it is not as popular now. Don't know why. It's very powerful in Cthulhu decks, uh, maybe because Cthulhu Rogue in general isn't very strong. But its battle cry is awesome! Destroy a minion at its attack with, uh, health to Cthulhu's. It's 9 mana, play a 4 4, kill a minion. That's amazing. It's an assassinate and uh, a minion in one. What else do we have? 15 left? Wow, we are cruising through this. Probably because I haven't explained anything at all. But hey. Uh, I mean, we, we started off with a bang and now we're going out with like a like kind of like a lightly, like a slight whiff of like air blowing through my nostrils or something. Servant of Yogg-Saron, Eldritch Horror, we've been through all these. This is angry cards back opening. Freaking shaman with a stupid taunt totems, like literally five turns in a row. Taunt totem. Taunt, 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 taunt. It was unbelievable. Like, what the flip. And it saved him long enough for him to start building a board so he could kill me. Oh, awful. What's this? Whisper the Old Gods? Pretty good card. Summon 7 1 1 Wisps will give you minus plus 2 plus 2. Great for uh, Token Druid. Pretty good in the arena, it's alright, though I think the uh, the 5 mana one, or the 6 mana one, is considered a higher value. 
that one summons five wisps and gives one minion plus five plus five and taunt. So I think that's why. These just get like more instant value. Only 10 packs left. Holy cow, well, I've been fuming about this shaman like loss. Oh, I've been through all these. Freaking Sunwalker top deck cross. We were in top we were top decking and top deck the freaking Sunwalker and that kept him alive for yet another turn and I had at that point I was like I hadn't drawn any good minions and he was making trades with his minions and ugh. That's awful. Undercity Huckster, spawn in Azoth. Just freaking horrible luck, just like terrible terrible luck, just like with the these legendaries. Blood of the Ancient one is fun. Get two of them in your deck, play them both, make sure they're both on the board. They merge into a 30-30. It's pretty awesome. I actually got them in the arena once, but I never got to summon the Ancient one. Kind of sad. Yay! Okay, finally, a new legendary. Yes! Thank you. Hog or Doom of Elwyn, whenever this minion takes damage, I'm gonna 2 2 Noel with Taunt. I mean, he's essentially uh, an 8 8. So, 7 mana, 8 8. That's pretty good already. Has the potential to be 10 10 with the stats, 12 12 with the stats. So, most of the time, it's gonna be 8 8, I think. Because anytime he gets played, a big spell or something is gonna be used against him. Still, if you get the opportunity to get, like, bash into some monsters, get that null value, uh, get at like two, possibly even three nulls with taunt. Heck, if you're a mage and you can ping your own minion, like, whoa! Suddenly you have a 6-5 and a 2-2, two, 6-4 two, and 4-4 and, and four, four, nulls with taunt, like, that's awesome. And epic doom! Oh, I don't have doom yet. Excellent. Doom is really fun. It's another warlock, powerful board clear, much like Twisting Nether, which is eight man. Except instead of just destroying all minions, you get to draw cards. So it's like a failsafe. Like I gotta get everything off the board now, and in exchange, I'm gonna get some tempo uh, in the form of card draw. Of course, you're resetting the board, so you have to be careful of what the opponent plays afterwards. But, if you're in a lot of trouble, it's a great failsafe mechanism. Three packs left. Give us one more new legendary. I think golden rare is alright. Not quite what we're looking for though. Been through all those cards. Nothing. Oh, I think from, from below is used in a lot of uh, core shaman decks right now. Uh, he's just very flexible because you summon a lot of totems usually during games and every it, it's not played or on the board it's summons so unlike the uh, the four mana guy that's also a shaman class card that gets buffed for each totem on the board that this guy just gets permanent passive value as long as it's in your hand final pack open sesame and nothing oh, I suppose we got plenty of legendaries though 90% of them were duplicates. It's all right. Rowling Blade's pretty good. Uh, I have a Divine Shield Paladin deck actually for Wild Constructed, which I think is very fun. Um, they need more powerful Divine Shield minions? No, you can't say that because if you do that, well, then they're overpowered and there's nothing you can do about that. South Sea Squid Face is used in Death Rattle Rogue, and I think that's it though. The current meta right now, as of before Gadget's End being released, is Malagos Rogue. So Malagos Rogue and Malagos Druid are the two big decks because there's a lot of they have a lot of tempo card draw stuff and powerful spells to keep minions off the board that are cheap, relatively, uh, that allow them to cycle through their deck relatively quickly so that by the time they hit turn 10, they've got their combo set up. They've used Emperor Thorison. Actually, is Emperor Thorison going to be out after this? Yeah, that might be a big meta shift. Emperor Thorison's a very powerful core legendary that's used in a lot of decks because he reduces the mana cost of cards in your hand. I think he's gone after this. Wow, that's going to be big. I won't, can't wait to see what new decks come out of this. 
Well, that's all the packs that I have today, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. That went by much quicker than I expected because I was really not giving a lot of a uh, description as to the value of those cards. Sorry about that. Just a little frustrated with that shaman. Actually, do I still have him? I might. Is he still there? Yeah, Blasco. Blasco, you freaking. You freaking lucky bastard. You got four or five totems. Totems. In a row and freaking kept me from killing you. You posh doodle. Freaking Blasco. Anyways. We'll let that go. We'll let it slide. We got some good legendaries there. I'm not going to craft any cards today because I think I'm going to save that dust for the new expansion coming out. However, I will very like You know what? Let's just disenchant. Look at that. 3,045 dust. I'll take it. It's because like two of those legendaries were... Three of those legendaries were duplicates, I think. Very cool. That's it. No card crafting this time around. So, once again, thanks for watching, sorry for the rambling, and I hope to see you for the next video. Probably Hearthstone related, Gadget Sand related. Well, that's gonna be it, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the rambling, and sorry for rushing through that card pack opening. I was just angry at Blasco there. Freaking. Once again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and... Expect some more content with our, like, Hearthstone-related content. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it went by kind of quickly. I was still angry at, you know, at Shaman, so... I can't come up with an ending! S say something and finish it! Stop rambling! Ugh! I'm just so angry at the Shaman. That's it. That was so- that was such bullcrap. Like... Such the- How lucky can you get? <sighs> so long, guys. Get out of my house.